There's a lot of important stuff we have to do. Uh, I apologize again. Can we get back to the um, hit and run? I know it's uh, inconvenient to you. Yeah, I got the uh, red board and the uh, star stardust. Can we start off? Um, how did the crime scene happen? Did he hit you? Where? Where's the uh... Tony? Yeah. Have you heard? What? The bird is the word. A bird, 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 the word. Bird, 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 how I told you releasing Dan Harrison's photo to the media was a good idea? No. Well, I said that, and I was right. You were wrong. Because I'm right. And guess what? Someone called in and said they found him. Found who? Dan Harrison. Someone said they saw him. Who, who saw him? We got like a million reports of this crap after we have a scene. Apparently everyone sees him. How can we trust him? I know it always happens like that, but this time it's different. How is this any different? Because it's his grandmother. His grandmother saw him? His grandmother said that, or she, that he lo, her, blah, His grandmother lives like right down the street from them, and... Where? On Sea Spray Court. Or Sea Spray Court. And she saw him going into Sea Spray, Court. Spray Court. That's the uh, scene of crime. Yeah, she saw, well, she saw him going there. Uh, sometimes serial kill, serial, I can't talk today. Serial yeah, killers. Yes, you can interrupt me though. I can. Serial, I'm sorry. Serial killers. Serial yeah. killers relive their crimes by going back to the scene of the crime. So maybe we should kind of get there before he leaves. Yeah, we should. Okay. This is, this is something you should have told me in the first place before well, you interrupt me. I, I forgot. I forgot. All right, all right, all right. Well, the bird is the word. Yeah, so well, if he's not there, we know where he's going to be. All right, well, yeah, the Tanger's Cafe. Yeah, that's the one. Time. Let it go. <sighs> Hello. This is Wildwood Police. I hit and run where? Take off that hood. No. I, hey, sorry. take off that hood. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, whatever. We'll be in in a minute. Get up. Look up. Look at me! Hi. My name is Detective Nikki Carmichael. This is Detective Alyssa McDowell. Do you know why I'm here? I'm not a fucking idiot. I know what's going on. Of course you're an idiot. Do you realize that you are being accused of murdering six people? Yes. Why don't you tell me about it? Why don't you take your shirt off? Why don't you stop the bullshit? This is fucking serious. Yeah, why'd you do it? Why'd you kill those people? It was fun. And they fucking deserved it. You mean your family, right? They deserved it? What do you know, Blondie? I know a lot of things, Dan. I know your brothers and your sister cornered you downstairs because they found your drugs. Why don't you tell us about that? Those stupid fucks. I did a little bit of drugs, so what? They didn't have to beat me like that. You're right, Dan. They didn't have to, and they shouldn't have. John abuse is wrong, Dan. What your family did to you was wrong. But unfortunately, what you did was also wrong. Just booked me already. Dan, if you could just talk to us. I said shut up, bitch, and book me! Fine. I guess go with Sergeant Carson, then. Fuck you. Good luck spending the rest of your life in jail, asshole. You're gonna die. Alright, well, so far I couldn't get a hold of Sergeant Carson, so far. Don't fucking move! Dan, what the fuck you doing? I'll blow her head off! Let's just put the gun down, Dan. Nobody moves! Room floor, fucking face. Let's just run. Dan, fucking relax. Talk. Fucking talk to me. Drop your weapons! Put the gun down. I can't do that, Dan. You can put the fucking guns down! Put the gun down. How do you know I'm not just gonna blow her fucking face off and go out and glory? Do you want attention? Who the fuck are you? Harry, you need to bet. My name is Harry, I understand. No one fucking understands me! No one knows what I'm going through! No one! You hear that asshole? Harry, get the hell out of there! I understand your isolation. You feel like no one understands you. You feel like no one has a shit your life than you. Like everyone just screwed you over and I don't care. Maybe. Harry, what the hell are you doing? Dan, we understand you. It's just people understand sometimes life can be hard. Shut up! Harry, you need to step back! Just let me talk. Dan, you don't want to do this. You realize what you did to your family was wrong. You know that this is wrong. Shut up! Dan, you can talk.
talk to us. Tell us your story. You think my life has a fucking story? Everyone does. My story is no fucking bedtime story, alright? It's like fucking Stephen King novel on crack. Do you know what it's like to have your father fucking twist your arm until it snaps? Or your fucking brothers pummel you on the floor with fucking baseball bats? Or no, your sister calling you a faggot for wearing tight jeans and other gloves. Telling everyone in school that I was fucking adopted. Hmm? Everyone knows your name because you're such a fucking freak. That's my life in a fucking nutshell. Can you relate to that, huh? You wealthy looking bitch. Can you relate? No, I'm not lying. I understand what you're going through. Back back in high school, something like that happened to me. I, you know, I used to get picked on by everybody and everybody just hated me. Everyone, I was such a freak. Or everyone thought I was. And they, I, I wrote it all down into a story. You know, good way to vent it out, right? I wrote an entire story about a huge, like, attack on the school and everybody that I hated who died. And great way to vent it out. You know, therapists would agree, but unfortunately, some kid that didn't like me told the police about it. And they searched my room for guns, looking for weapons, didn't find anything. But they did find the story, and they sent me to a really bad place with a lot of bad kids. And for three years, I suffered. And it was just awful. And But look, I turned my life around and I became one of the good guys. I became one of the cops to help people like me. And that's why I'm here, to help you. That's my story. And everybody here has a story just like it. And everybody does. All right, Dan, now it's your turn. Let the girl go. What did you expect to accomplish by this? We're trying to help you. I don't want you to leave this place in a body bag. Please lower the gun and let her go. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Come on, Dan, put the gun down. Come on, you can do it. Set it down and this will all be over. Drop the gun! You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney and to refuse to answer questions. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will provide it for you by the state at no cost to you. Is she alright? Yeah, she's fine. Just go, go. Okay. Has anyone seen my wife, Nikki? Yeah, can I help you, sir? Yeah, I'm uh, Thomas Johnson Carmichael, and I'm, I'm her husband. Where, where is she? Nick I heard she Nikki? got shot, and I'm looking for her, and she works here. You're Nikki Carmichael's husband? She's the detective, okay? Okay. Now, where, where the hell is she okay, at? Just calm down. She's at the hospital. She's now, okay. now, I can't take this right now. Where is she at? She's at the hospital. Okay, was there a bomb? No, there was not a bomb. There was what a the shooting. hell happened? There was a shooting. A who suspect. shot who? That is a suspect. I can't, reveal, the truth, I can't reveal, reveal the name of the suspect. Who's the suspect? Because I'm not being smart for I'm sorry, I'm sir. I can't reveal name, the sir. name of the suspect. No, I cannot take this she shit. Was, she's okay. The no, you're not was... playing this shit with me. Let me see the tape. Where's the uh, tape? Relax. Who's got the tape? Mr. Carmichael, relax, please. Just calm down. She's okay. It was a minor wound to the shoulder. She's going to be out of work for about a month, two months. But, dude, we can't even afford that, mother... She has health Look, benefits. Look, no, because the health benefits are not going to work because I got to pay for fucking bills, okay? I got bills up the ass. It's up the ass. It hurts, and I can't pay for that. And she's going to have medical bills, and we got we to gotta be able to afford that. Mr. She can't be out of work. Mr. Carmichael, just calm down. Look, I'm a fucking teacher. I don't get paid enough, okay? I understand. I apologize for what happened, but she's at the hospital. If you go visit her, we're going to do our job okay, here. Okay, okay. All right, now who shot her? Seriously, I just tell me who it was. I can't reveal the name of the suspect. No, how did the suspect even get in here with a gun? We're working on that. No, let me see his fingerprints. I'll find out who the motherfucker was. All right, we're working on figuring out what happened. All no. I know is the suspect. You know what happened? You were weapon. here. I was you here. You had to have been I here. I was here. The suspect. Okay, now gun. tell me what happened. Because your, your wife. Look, I'm gonna take this gun right, and kill you this motherfucker. Stay behind the tape, sir. I'm sorry. Stay behind the tape. 
Okay, now give me this gun, because you know 